this is bizarre, right? Lead is not good for you, that's what they say. And then they said, there is trace amounts of lead in calcium su supplements. I got a little nervous there. I was like, I think I've had calcium supplements. <laughs> is this true? I hope it's not true. Is it true, Ian? It's slightly true. Slightly true? What does that mean? Uh, Either things are true or they're not there true. There are very trace amounts of heavy metals in the Good to know. Maybe lead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's radioactive material in bananas, so... Okay. Good to know. I'll just stop eating. <laughs> All right, so then it says, despite this, many doctors contend that for some people, calcium supplements containing lead are preferable to no calcium supplements at all. I was, it said for some people. So my why question, or what's your why question? Who's got a why question here? Aaron, you got a why question? Um, why? Is lead bad for some people? <laughs> is, why is lead bad for some people? Okay, it's not quite the why prediction I had yet. Why is lead bad? Is it saying that the lead is not bad? Uh, or why is it more harmful in one case than another? Sure. Why would we get specifically into these this claim right here? Well, why? Why? Why ingest lead? <laughs> why? I think I think if why? we say why and just lead, you, you're you're sort of getting to it. I I don't want to oversimplify this, so I want to get specifically. Uh, into this sentence is saying many doctors contend. So something could be as simple as, well, they're delusional, right? Like that is a possible answer if we don't take that out of this sentence. So if we say, why are many doctors arguing that at least for some people they should take this these calcium supplements um, over doing versus doing nothing, even though they contain trace amounts of lead. Which is harmful. I mean, it's kind of a long passage, so our why question is a little bit long. But the reason I want to incorporate the doctor's point here is that there could they could be confused. That could be a possible answer, right? Because it's just the claim is just that they contend that it's not saying outright that taking it is better for some people than not. I mean, those doctors think it is. But Tori, question. I I think that's okay. I think you have to recognize that the doctors are still a part of this, but you're absolutely, I mean, that's, that's I think, the core idea here. Why the heck is calcium supplements, even though it has lead, preferable in some cases, right? And I was expecting some answer to say, like, they have cancer and they better have this or they're going to die no matter what or something. I don't know. I, I was, or, <laughs> I don't want to say what you guys said earlier. Um, Someone was on fire or something like that. <laughs> Take the calcium. <laughs> Take the calcium. <laughs> it's a key ingredient in uh, fire extinguishers. Um, in any case, what were we debating here? That's what we want to answer. Why the heck did these doctors recommend this, even though it's got lead in it? You said B and E? Okay, B. It is difficult to ensure that one has completely eliminated trace amounts of lead from one's diet. Um... Okay, it's hard to do that. It's hard to make sure you've gotten rid of all your lead. But we do know that lead is in these calcium supplements. So why, for some people, would the doctors recommend they have it, even though we know about these lead, this lead traces? What was your thought on B? Um, well, it was just like something that I didn't immediately cross out. Yeah. Um, and I went down, I picked E eventually, but I, my thinking was E, if you can't, or for B, if you can't eliminate it completely from Maybe the Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe the magnitude doesn't like, shift. Like, maybe the trace is so small the calcium supplement, it doesn't matter because you're already adjusting blood. Yeah. Um, it is difficult to ensure that one has completely eliminated it, but maybe you could. The problem with this is that word completely eliminate, even if you can't ensure that you completely eliminate it, you could maybe ensure that you reduce it to a very small amount. So, yeah, there is some. Uh, I'm glad you like to eat. Uh, any other answers that were tempting? I thought C, was anyone tempted by C? Lead is the only one of a common of the common public health concerns that are associated with anemia and nerve damage. No one was tempted by that. I thought this was kind of saying, hey, um, I mean, it's not a problem. It's, it doesn't explain it, but 
It's just saying, hey, it's only one of the problems. So maybe there's all these other problems, so who cares about this one? <laughs> but you could still care about it. Huh? Maybe that calcium deficiency hurts your nerve. Sure, it could hurt you yeah, worse more. than like, the I lead. That. I didn't cross that one out, but... I Unfortunately, that's not what that says, but if it did say that, that would certainly be correct. It kind of leaves it open. It, yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah, I mean, it's just saying it's one of many problems, so there are other problems, too. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't get rid of it, right? E, when calcium intake is insufficient, the body draws calcium from bones, releasing stored lead into the bloodstream. This, is, this doesn't perfectly explain it, but it does start to say, hey, maybe the release of lead would be more damaging than the intake of lead, right? And there you go. So that's the one that best explains it, even if it doesn't perfectly explain it, because we still don't know that. We still don't know that the lead release would be higher than the lead intake. But, hey, it might be. Are we cool with this? Okay. You said you were yeah. taking C because taking the calcium supplements, even though it had lead in it, could help anemia and... Oh, anemia. no. I, I just, I felt like some people have been tempted by C in the past. But unfortunately, it's not saying anything except that it is only one of several problems. That doesn't mean it's any less of a problem or that we should ignore it. Right? Like, if... This actually, this kind of answer is pretty common on the LSAT, and it almost always turns out to be wrong. It's sort of like, you have some argument about cancer, and they're like, therefore cancer is a big problem, and then one of the answers is, well, cancer is just one of many problems. People could also die of heart attacks and all this other stuff. That doesn't diminish the fact that it's still a serious problem, right? So, yeah, uh, it turns out to be wrong. Okay. Cool.